Because our hot air balloon must end up being lighter than the air it displaces, we're going to weigh all of our components. Start by cutting a square of aluminum foil about 4 inches square, which is about 10 centimeters square. The aluminum square weighs about 2 tenths of a gram. Stick on candles in four places, an inch or about 25 millimeters from the edge. All four candles weigh about five and a half grams. So far, the best way we've found to stick the candles to the foil is by sticking the aluminum over the edge, melting the bottom of the candle a little, then heating it from below the aluminum. Then slide the aluminum back onto the table, press down, and hold the candle very still as the wax solidifies. As you can see, it takes practice. And the candles will snap off if they get bumped. The bigger the pool of wax that sticks on the candle, the stronger the candle is against being knocked off. Next make the rigid X that holds the balloon open. If you gently stretch the opening of the balloon and measure this dimension, you can calculate how long the sticks that make up the X should be. Multiply the dimension by 0.7. So with the bags we use, the measurement is about 57 centimeters. So multiply by 0.7, we get about 40 centimeters. Cut off the bendy part of the straw, if that is what kind of straw you are using. And keep the long, stiff part of the straw. You will need to tape several together. We find that the connections are a little stronger if we make two short cuts in the end of one, so there's a bit of overlap. Find the middle of each and tape together the X. Tape the ends of one stick onto the opposite points of the bag. Then tape the ends of the other stick. All six straws we needed for the X weighed less than two grams. Tape the aluminum platform on top of the straws so when the candles burn down, they will not melt the straws. Tape the corners to the straws. The candles should not be directly above the straws. They should be offset so they don't melt the straws. If the balloon will fly out of reach, tie thread to the cross of the X. The aluminum squares make the hot air balloon housebroken so it doesn't drop wax. And you can reuse the balloon indefinitely just by attaching new candles again. There's enough litter in the world already. People assume that even small hot air balloons must be flown outdoors. However, even a slight breeze is too much to fly a hot air balloon in. Guys, guys, guys!
Most of the time, it's better to fly inside. In very hot weather, the balloon will lift a little less efficiently than in cold weather. Although it is possible for one person to launch it, it's easier if one person holds the bag from the top while the other person lights the candles. It's still a challenge to have to look from below and have to reach up into the balloon. It might be a little easier if you use a candle instead of a lighter. Be careful to keep the flame away from the plastic. It will take a minute or two to heat the air sufficiently. If you have trouble getting the balloon up, you can reduce fuel weight by cutting the candles in half.